Hello everyone, welcome back to Senior Pablo TV. And for today's video, we will be discussing inverse of a function. The inverse of a function f denoted by f raised to negative 1. That is read as f inverse. Again, f inverse. Such that f of f inverse of x is equal to x and f inverse of f of x is equal to x. Here are here here are this and the following are the steps in finding the inverse of a function. Number one replace f of x with y. Number two, interchange x and y. Number three, solve for y in step two. And number four, if f has an inverse, replace y in the step three with inverse of uh, f inverse of x. Now let's have these examples to better understand. Find the inverse of the following functions. State whether f inverse is a function or not. Number one and two, we have ordered pairs. So to find f inverse, all we need to do is to interchange x with y. So x with y, so that will become 4, 5. Next, negative 3, 1. Next, 1, negative 3. Now, state whether inverse or f inverse is a function or not. So to check, no domain must be repeated. So check the domain. That must be the domain or the x coordinate must not be repeated. So 4, negative 3, and 1. So that means this is a function. Okay. Next, number 2. Still ordered pairs. Just interchange x with y. So we have negative 1, positive 1. We have 5, positive 3. We have 1, negative 4, 5, and 2. Now let us check. So our domain R, negative 1, positive 5, positive 1, positive 5. Notice that our 5 as domain is repeated twice. Therefore, this is not a function. Okay, so we are now done in number 1 and 2. Let's proceed in number 3. f of x is equal to x minus 4. We're now going to apply our steps. So first, replace f of x with y. So f of x, change to y. That will become x minus 4. Now, interchange x and y. So y will become x, and x will become y. Copy minus 4. Step 3. Solve for y in step 2. Find y. Addition property of equality. So x, move on the left, that will become positive 4 is equal to y. We're going to check if the value is a function. So x plus 4 is a function. That means 
inverse of x is equal to x plus 4. So commutative property, this is equal to y is equal to x plus 4. Commutative property. Okay. Next, number 4. f of x is equal to 2x plus 3. Change f of x to y. Now, interchange x and y. So y will become x, and x will become y. Then solve for y. So x minus 3 is equal to 2y. Addition property of equality, we need to subtract 3 here, subtract 3, so we have negative 3. To find y, we need to divide by 2. So we have x minus 3 over 2 is equal to y. Next, check whether it is a function x minus 3 is a function, therefore we can rewrite our final answer as inverse of f of x is equal to x minus 3 over So, that's on how to find the inverse of a function. Thank you for watching Senior Pablum TV. Enjoy your modules.